Yeah, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are making um smoked catfish with uh pumpkin leaf that is ogo, that's what we call it over here. So, this is me washing it, I'm trying to make it clean so that it will look clean. Um, after washing, after washing it, I'm going to remove the the stick that's it that's what do they even call it the middle part the the the, the stick they use in joining the tail and the head together i will remove it and i'll remove some of the bones there and uh, what is it called i know you guys know sha so i'll that's me cleaning it yeah i'll try to remove all those dead there at the heart is it the heart or the head i think that should be the head uh -huh. because i don't really want to break the fish into pieces so i really want it whole the way it is the way it looks i want it that way in my vegetable so that's why i'm just removing the deaths there the 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 the, the deaths you can see me removing it so after removing it i'll wash it again sorry i didn't show that second washing the second washing of the head so i'll wash it again after washing the next thing is to prep my uh, ugu leaf that's the pumpkin leaf by adding water by adding salt into the water then i'll add the pumpkin leaf that's the ugu leaf and the ugu leaf looks the ugu leaves look so so fresh i got it from my uh, brother's garden so that's it i've plucked it just to wash after washing i will kind of put it in a strainer for the water to dry off a little yeah before chopping it so just keep keep watching and see the end results and this meal came out very very delicious very very delicious i bet you if you can give it a try you will love it so thanks and please you are free to use any vegetable of your choice but just make sure you wash it very very well i insist very very well preferably using a, using salt in washing your vegetable is the best because at times those vegetables they have some little little especially here in africa i don't know about over there i don't know about uh, europe or so but it's good to wash your vegetable with uh, um, salt that's what i do use i put add salt in water i soak it and i kind of after i rinse it twice or thrice this one looks very clean because I plucked it myself from my brother's garden. So do wash your vegetable very, very clean. Please, very, very clean. Let it be clean. Let it be good. Let it be well washed before using it. Because at times you find some little, little insects on it. You know, those many hands has touched it. It has passed through many way before getting to you so you need to make sure everything is clean all right so here i have my smoked catfish i have my chopped vegetable my chopped onions chopped tomato and pepper my um uh, what do they call it i also have my uh, homemade spices and my maggi cube salt oil granite oil so as you can see here, I have my red oil and vegetable oil. I added the two together to make the sauce. What you can see here by the side is the homemade uh, uh, what is, homemade spices. That's what I used. I used it. I made it myself. I blended it with my blender. These are the homemade spices here. So... You fry everything together, your onions, 
your homemade spices, my curry, my chopped tomatoes and uh, pepper. That's what I've just added now. So I'll fry it to an extent before adding my smoked washed fish. So just keep, keep viewing. Yeah. This looks very, very attractive. Yeah. The aroma here is superb. It's superb. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, this is me adding the smoked fish. The smoked washed catfish. That's what I'm adding. Uh, I lowered the flame a bit. Yeah, I lowered the flame a bit. And here, sorry, the cover I'm using is not the lid or the cover of this. Uh, but I kind of misplaced my the cover of the pot. So that's why I'm using this. But forget about the cover or the lid. Just focus on the cooking. All right? Okay. Let's keep going. So guys, I do this because I don't want the fish to break or to scatter inside the, the pot. That's why I'm doing this. That's why you see me just shaking it. And even if I want to kind of, I I do it gradually to, to turn the fish. <laughs> That's, at times you see it will just slip off. But I, I did it carefully because I don't want it to scatter. to cook. Let's keep slicing. Ooh, I don't want it to break. I cooked the fish uh, and the tomato sauce for some minutes to allow the tomato sauce to get right into the fish or to infuse inside the fish <laughs> before adding my ego leaves. That's what you see me doing now. I'm adding my ego leaves to it. The tomato has the tomatoes has gotten right inside the fish inside it has really infused inside the fish now i added a little water yes i added a little water 
so that it will not dry off it will not get burnt and i lowered the flame to allow it cooked everything to cook together yeah Chai, seafood. This can be eaten with white rice or boiled yam. Anything of your choice. Hey, delicious. Delicious meal. Please and please give it a try and thank me later. Thank you.